Hey guys, so I was just asked about making a business page and so I wanted to show you really quickly how you do it. It's really easy. Um, I always suggest a business page over a group. I just think um, after trying both, I had a group for a very long time and after having the group, there's a lot more that you can do with a business page over having a Facebook group. Um, and plus, it's much more professional. It's, you know, shows that you are a business and that you're taking your business seriously. So what you're going to do is you're going to start from your main Facebook page right here and you're going to go ahead and click on under explore this thing that says pages and it'll show you any pages that you have. Um, you're going to go ahead and click create page and then you're going to have some options here and basically from here it's going to um, give you a bunch of different it's just going to walk you through how exactly to do this. So you're going to make your page name um, and I'm going to go over a couple of things, kind of do's and don'ts of what you should do when you're um, posting things on social media in general, not just on Facebook and not just on your business page, but also your personal page. So your page name could um, be just about anything however if you are going to say sensi it has to say sensi independent consultant it cannot just say um katie's sensi business or katie's sensi or sensi with katie it has to say um katie independent sensi consultant um you don't have to say sensi in your business name you can have your business name um say um, just sense in it or it doesn't have to say that at all. It could be anything that you want. Um, so I'm going to bring you over to our superstars page because there is some good information on here in this pin post. There is tons of stuff in this pin post and I'm sure you've heard me say it about a million and five times um, but there's a lot of stuff in this pin post that even if you've been a consultant for a while it might be a good idea to just kind of um, look over. So we want to focus on this part that says Facebook and social media do's and don'ts. Um, and so I just want to really quickly, you can go and read this yourself, obviously, but um, some really important tips for your business page is to be authentic and positive. Make your own graphics, um, use your own words, um, and keep political, religious, and sensitive topic posts off of your social media in general. I know it's really tempting um, when you feel strongly about something, but as a business professional, um, it doesn't look good when you're debating with people on social media. Do you say Sensi Independent Consultant when needed, which is, we've gone over that. When you make a graphic and it has Sensi um, products in it, you need to make sure you say Sensi Independent Consultant. Um, do help other Sensi Consultants. You don't need to be, um, if you are questioning, reporting somebody, just, you know, make sure that they're doing something that really you can't just reach out to them and say, oh, hey, you know, we really shouldn't be doing that. And to be very honest, Personally, I tend to just leave that up to the professionals. We have Field Watch, which is uh, people that are employed by Sensi to search that stuff, search for in um, stuff that's out of compliance, um, and take care of that. That is their job. And for me personally, I do not have a lot of time in my day to be, you know, to be working, let alone worrying about somebody else's business. So I work my business and I leave that stuff to the professionals. If something's really going wrong, um, then of course you want to, um, you know, report that. Um, do not post personal specials. You cannot say free shipping. You cannot have a prize, raffle, or gift. Um, you can offer those sorts of things in private by email, text, or in person, but not on social media. You can, however, post specials that are related released by Sensi. This is to keep the playing field even. A new consultant has the same opportunities as somebody who's been selling for years. So if Sensi has released a deal, for instance, right now we have the brick bundle deal. You save $8 if you buy both of those bricks together. That's perfectly fine. You can promote that. You can put that price on it because everybody can use that price. However, you cannot say um, buy the double brick combination and get a free bar from me. Um, that's a personal special and needs to be emailed or text or um, spoken to about privately. Um, you are not allowed to post that you have stock. You are allowed to keep a small stock under 
under $2,000 in your home for parties or events, but you cannot post your stock on social media. You cannot take a picture of your stock and say, you know, come pick up this stuff at my house or anything like that. Um, there's, if you're ever in question about what you should and should not be doing on social media, you can always refer to your, um, your consultant hand guide, which is on your workstation and, um, you would have received one in your kit. Um, so other than that, these are the main things you want to really pay attention to. Make sure that you're being helpful and not hurtful. If you see other consultants breaking the rules, they might not even know that they're not supposed to be doing that. And so it's always good to kind of keep that as your first thought rather than, oh, look what they're doing. They're doing something wrong. Um, maybe they don't know. Okay. So making a sensei um, business page, the best way to go. I also want to mention really quickly that there have been people in the past who have created um, an amazing following of many, many people and amazing business around their Facebook following, but they have done that on their personal Facebook page, and that is against Facebook policy. It is, um, you are not allowed to promote your business on your Facebook page. You can share stuff from your business page, but you cannot promote your business on your personal page. And generally, I think, you know, that you'll see a lot of that and nothing will be done about it. But this particular person had built her whole business up on her Facebook page and they completely deleted her Facebook page, including pictures of her children, um, all of her posts, all of her messages, everything was gone um, because she was promoting her business on her personal page. So it is very, very important to have either a business page or a group if that's how you decide to go about it. All right, guys, thanks for listening. I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, post them down in the comments below and I will talk to you guys soon.